hello there dear friends welcome to the channel and thank you for watching in today's video i'm going to talk about the premier league in general the roundup of the premier league for today and we're gonna start by man united against sheffield united it was a very good game and sheffield united are going down for some reason I was hoping that they could uh, give United a very good game of football but it looks like uh, United are you know stronger than them and for some reason uh, Sheffield United are not doing the same good things that they've been doing so far so they have nobody to blame but themselves man I don't understand what is happening but United are scary at the moment they are very scary because they are a real treat for chelsea football club if you know what i'm trying to say here um the win today is going to take them only two points you know distance from chelsea football club so if uh, somehow we lose against city United are going to be two point from us and that is scary because if you see United's um, schedule you compare with uh, Chelsea's schedule you see that Chelsea still have a lot to do we have to meet Wolves we have to meet um, Liverpool and it's not going to be easy so it's still in our hands now if we can go ahead and start winning games starting by city tomorrow but it's not going to be an easy task and united look very strong man they have a very solid and organized defense harry maguire you can say whatever you want you know you can banter you can insult him or whatever but he's better than many of our defenders we have to be honest with that. Wambisaka is better than Aspilicueta and probably better than Rhys James because Rhys James haven't really proven in the Premier League yet. Wambisaka been doing it for a couple seasons now and he becomes even more dangerous in attack because he got so far, I don't know, maybe three assists this season and people been saying that he's good defending but he's not that good going forward but now he's improving he's still quite young and he's he's gonna get even better so he's a more balanced kind of uh, uh, fullback because he can defend and he can also can go forward you know he's uh, he's attempting a lot of crosses he's attempting to find some gaps and and and, and play the ball between the lines you can see that Juan Bisaka is going to be one of the best in the world man you like it or not that is the the reality and I'm not gonna lie just because I am a Chelsea fan so we have to look at our shoulders because United are just uh, behind us and uh, we have uh, to start uh, picking up point Oh my gosh, let me know what you think about this battle of the top four. Do you see Chelsea making it or you see United, you know, maybe snatching that fourth place. But I'm telling you that Sheffield United are going down now. So they are not a threat anymore. Um, if you look at uh, Leicester, Leicester City also, they just dropped how many points? Four points out of six. You see? so they might drop and the real treat for chelsea football club now and that is just my opinion are united and also wolves because they keep winning so we have to be very very careful and like i said in my previous video we need to take every game as a final and oh my gosh united are getting better look at uh, martial hard trick wow and you can tell that they are getting better and better paul pogba getting better bruno fernandez i can't even say it unfortunately it's a little late for them because they 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 could have uh 
challenged for the title. I'm telling you how. It's, it's very scary to even think about it, about it. Greenwood, getting better. Uh, everybody is getting better at the right time. You know what I'm trying to say? So Chelsea, we still so so. Look at our defense. Shambolic. Every time we are, we are under pressure, we collapse. The midfield is good. The attack also, you know, getting better with Pulisic and Tammy Abraham. And, uh, you know, we, we, we can cope. But right now, how not to link those goals is a big, big if. Uh, I don't know, man. Let me know what you think. But, hey, we are Chelsea and uh, anything is possible in football. It's still in our hands. We don't have to face United anymore. We could face them somewhere in the FA Cup. But in the Premier League, we don't have to face them. But we still have some giant uh to face in order to get to top four so go you blues let's do it uh starting tomorrow with city let's just get something out of that okay if we can get a point or we can snatch three point that is going to put us uh in a very good place and give us a lot of confidence for the future so the game ended up 3-0 to United. Hard trick from Anthony Martial. Uh, two typings with uh, another very good collective goal. The third goal was beautiful. And uh, Martial was very cool and collected as usual. Well, not as usual, but yeah, this time around. Let me say that. So let's see what happened to other games because we need to know in order for us to prepare better. Newcastle against uh, Aston Villa, 1-1. I'm so happy about the result because I don't want them to go down. And you know the reason, John Terry. You know what I mean? Uh, that could be a very viral point at the end of the season because they are fighting relegation at the moment and any point count and um, for Newcastle they don't have to worry about anything I think they are safe and they have just to prepare for next season hopefully they, they are going to be uh, sold so they can start uh, making some big signings because we all want to see Newcastle United coming back to the top level because that's where they belong man I remember when I was a kid Newcastle used to be uh, a very top team in the Premier League. Next one, we're going to talk about uh, Norwich against uh, uh, Everton. Everton won 1-0 and I don't see Norwich coming back. Definitely, they are down. Okay, So, it's time for teams to start sniffing around for their players. I think they have so many good players that don't deserve to be in the championship. They are going to sell pretty much all of them. I don't understand what's going on with that team. They play a beautiful football, but they can't win. And that is the problem with that uh, manager because he would die with his system and his ideas. You need result at some point. But hey, it is what it is, but I'm a Chelsea fan. If I had to choose few players from Norwich City when they go down, I would go with uh, the guy from Argentina. What's his name again? Uh, Bondia, something like that. Forgive me if, uh, if I mispronounce his name. But I can also try the goalkeeper, Kroll. You know, that guy also is good. Uh, so, so if we're not going for a top elite goalkeeper, I won't mind have, uh, you know, crawl as uh, as my number two at Chelsea Football Club. The last game we are going to talk about in this video is uh, Wolves against uh, Bournemouth and Wolves won 1-0 and that also a very critical situation for uh, Bournemouth. It's sad man because I, I don't see them, you know, surviving this time. They are going down, you know, so 
they're going down with Norwich and we have to find another team that will go with them down. So it's sad for Nathan Aki and also um, Dom, Dominique Solanke. I don't see Dominique playing in the Premier League because he's not that good, let's be honest. But Nathan Aki is going to find a team in the Premier League or in other leagues because he's too good to be in the championship. They also, you know, they, they, they will have to sell many, many of for our players if they, do go, if they go down. And I even heard that Chelsea are considering to go for Nathan Ake. Um, I will support the decision, but I think at, that, at this point, we need an elite um, centre-back, not somebody who will just be a squad player. Nathan Ake is good. I campaigned for him to come in January because I wanted to push for top four. And at the time, we needed somebody. And he was better than a bunch. But now that we have the transfer window and we have the money, we need to go for the top one, the elite one. Get me Koulibaly, get me Gabriel, or get me somebody else that I don't know, but will be just great in that defense. Anyways, guys, that was my roundup for now. I'm going to try to watch the Liverpool game. But if I have time, I can um, do my review. But if I don't, and then it's going to be some other time. Because, you know, there is no really much we can learn from Liverpool. They are trying to win the title. And, you know, we, we're not going to catch them anyway. So, what the point? Anyways, guys, leave your comment. Think outside the box and see you in the next one.